okay in this question it's given that x square plus 1 by x square is 83 okay and you have to find out the value of x cube minus 1 by x cube i know many of you get confused the moment you see such kind of uh, question but trust me these are very mechanical in nature you know what to do actually so hence if you see there are playing with powers that means you know uh, and powers of two terms right so if there's if you see there are two terms two terms and their power is given as um, and power is 2 here the power is 3 and um, one important thing is x into 1 by x is a constant that is 1 if you see the two terms which are there x and the variable here is 1 upon x so multiplication is 1 so this kind of a problem are typical okay and they use nothing but algebraic identities right so if you see x square plus 1 by x square is given that means you can find out x plus 1 by x from here how so let us say x square plus 1 by x is equal to 83 is it now if you see this 83 is closer to 81 which is 9 square that's itself is an indication that you reduce it to power you know square some square so hence x square plus 1 by x square is can be written as 81 plus 2 isn't it now this 2 you take it on the left hand side so that only square term perfect square term stays in the right hand side so minus 2 is 81 which is equal to 9 square isn't it now if you see closely this one this is a algebraic identity right how it is x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 times x times 1 by x isn't it see x into 1 by x was 1 and 2 can be expressed like this and which helps us in completing the square how so if you see this is nothing but x minus 1 by x whole squares expansion was this right is equal to 9 square wow this is so good so hence if you see i can find out x minus 1 by x will be nothing but plus 9 or minus 9 both both could be you know uh the value isn't it both could be the value so x minus 1 by x is plus 9 or minus 9 so now what is the next step the question was to find out x cube minus 1 by x cube so if you know we know this identity what was that identity x cube minus 1 by x cube is this isn't it x cube minus 1 by x cube so basically a cube minus b cube identity was given as a minus b whole cube right minus 3ab or rather plus 3ab times a minus b this was one identity another identity which we know is a cube minus b cube is a cube sorry this is a minus b times a square plus a b and then plus b square right you can use whichever either of the two so let us say x cube minus 1 by cube will be equal to nothing but x minus 1 by cube let us use this particular identity is nothing but x square plus x into 1 by x plus 1 by x squared isn't it now x minus 1 x 1 by x is given plus 9 so let us take plus 9 first so when x minus 1 by x is equal to plus 9 so what will happen it will be 9 into an x square plus 1 by x square was it given yes it was given to be equal to 83 see right so hence i can write 83 plus x into 1 by x is 1 simply right so hence it is 9 into 84 9 into 84 isn't it and the value would be 9 4s are 36 carry 3 9 is 72 plus 3 756 so this is the value if x minus 1 by x is minus 9 then what will happen then again um nothing will happen only the sign will change here right this will become simply minus n minus 9 and everything will remain the same but usually we take the so x x minus x uh, cube minus 1 by cube is either 756 or minus 756 is that okay so what is the learning in this question the learning is the learning is that if you see some expressions like these then you know very or for sure that there has to be some use of algebraic identities and if you play with the two and three algebraic identity which is common that is a plus b whole square or a my a square minus b square or a plus b whole cube and 
the different corollaries or different types of identities which we have seen around these three four basic identities so be very clear so whenever such problems are there you have to use algebraic identities